Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is Verilog code for 4-bit ALU supporting 16 operations. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, R&D, Pune. So moving towards the today's topic. So what is meant by ALU? So ALU stands for Arithmetic and Logical Unit. In microprocessor microcontroller, you are able to see ALU is performing different arithmetic as well as logical operations here you are able to see operand a operand b it might be a single bit four bit eight bit so on that operations depending upon alu select will be performed and output will be getting at alu out so here two operands are there on which different operations depending upon alu select will be taken place and output will be going to c in the alu so here on the right hand side you are able to see alu select which is of 4 bit from 0000 to 1111 that way 16 operation it will be performing depending upon number of bits of alu select you will be performing operation here it is 4 bit that's why maximum 16 operation will be performed you can perform 9 operation also and after that you will planning anything or if you want to perform eight operation from uh, eight operations then you can give select line as a three bit only and it will be performing operation uh, from 0, 0, 0 to 1 1 1 so that way this seven operations or eight operations will be performed by the alu in our case it is a 16 operation that's why four bits are required uh, from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1 1 1 1 it will be performing here you are able to see addition operation, subtraction, multiplication, division, left shift by one, right shift by one, rotate uh, left by one, rotate right by one. Logic logical operations such as A and B, A or B, A X or B, A nor B, A and B, A X or B that perform and other relational operations such as a greater than b a equal to b is also performed as per your requirement you can take different operations that you want so over here as we have used 4 bit alu select that's why we are able to perform 16 operations so that way as per your requirement you can change uh, that select bit and perform different operation so moving ahead with what is mean by ro uh, rotate left what is mean by uh, left shift by one right shift by one that we will be seeing because rest of the things are common that a plus b a minus b so we will be focusing on this two as well as this rotate operation so here you are able to see the screenshot where logical left shift and logical right shift is explained in our operand a and operand b is of four bit and alu select is of four bit so operations that has been performed on upfront will be of 4 bit and output will be getting four. if carry is there then fifth bit will be there now in this example they have taken that operand a suppose that is of 5 bit in our case it will be 4 bit just to understand how it will be performing i am giving giving this example so for logical left shift you are able to see this is 10101 where one is msb and this is the lsb so when you want to shift it left by one then this one will be shifted over here zero will be shifted over here one bit uh, over here and one will be shifted here zero will be shifted here and this last one will be shifted here but as you want our uh, data to be five bit so this will get discard and zero will be inserted in the lsb side so your final output will be zero one zero one zero same way for the logical shift uh, right by one you need to shift the data one bit right so this lsb is shifted to this side the zero is shifted one bit uh, in front then one is shifted over here zero is shifted one is shifted on on this side zero is inserted and this is what your five bit value and this one is discarded so ultimately your output will be five bit only and here in the right shift this rightmost bit will be discarded and here in the left shift leftmost bit will be discarded and instead of uh, blank space here zero is inserted so here also zero is inserted so for more detail we'll be moving ahead with this particular slide where i have explained this is what is the four bit a value operand a where this is a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 and a of 3 and here data stored is 1001 purposefully that color is given so that you will be able to see the shifting now whenever you want to shift logical 
left uh, by 1 here this 1 is shifted over here 0 is shifted 0 is shifted and this 1 is getting discarded and in place of this 0 is added so same way it is mentioned over here 0 is inserted and this last one which is not present over here so this this is discarded same way whenever you need to shift right by 1 here this 1 is shifted to this side 1 bit uh, um, over there 0 is shifted 0 is shifted and 1 is discarded and here 0 is added so that way final value will be 0 1 0 0 so hope that things are clear so this is the meaning of left shift and right shift logical shift by 1 now whenever you want to in implement this rotate left and rotate right what is the difference between this left shift right shift and rotate in left shift and right shift you are padding 0 and you are discarding some bit over here here you are rotating the data this is right shift and this is what is the left shift so that way you are just rotating the data one bit over there now for that the statement is written like this alu result will be this particular bracket curly bracket over here this is the sign of concatenation and this comma is the separation suppose over here this kind of statement has been written so this curly bracket start and end and here there is written one bit binary number which is zero means one bit binary number that value is zero comma a meaning of that zero will be added first so zero is written and whatever is the value of a will be concatenated with this zero and here the value of a is one zero one zero so zero one zero one zero this is the final value same way if some something like this is written this is the sign of concatenation curly bracket start end and one bit binary number which is zero if there is one meaning of that whatever one bit binary number you are taking that is one but here we have considered zero comma that is b so whatever the value of b will be added after that and the concatenation of that will be there so value of b is 1101 and previously before b you need to add zero so zero 1101 is the final value now Whenever you need to perform this operation, here the operation is taking place on A and that's why we will be considered this value that is A of 0, A of 1, A of 2 and A of 3 where for rotating left, what you need to do? You need to shift this bit by 1. So this 1 from 0th position will be shifted to this. From A of 1, it will be shifted to this and from A of 2 will be shifted to this and this value of A of 3 will be shifted here. So that's why this a of 2 to a of 0 that will be at start and th this bit will be shifting over here. Now this way you need to do it and that's why this a of 2, a of 1, a of 0 is written first that is a of 2 is to 0 that you will be writing first and then you will be padding that with the a of 3 so this is a of 3. So if my value was 1001 0, 0, 1, previously now after right uh, left shift by 1 it will be in this way 0 0 1 1 hope the things are clear again i am discussing this thing previously my value was this one now i need to shift it left by 1 so left shift means this bit will be shifted here this will be shifted here this will be shifted here and this will be shifted here and that's why over here you are able to see a of 3 at last and a of 2 is to 0 at start so meaning of this is nothing but this now if you need to rotate it right by 1 so previously my data is like this now I need to shift it right so my this data will be shifted to right so that's why this will be coming if I am shifting it to right meaning of that this will be shifted over here and it will be coming here because it is like this it will be rotating right so this data will be shifted here and my data will be finally 1100 0, 0, where first bit will be a of 0 and rest of the bit will be a of 3 is to 1 and that's why it is written over here so final value is 1100 0, 0. so hope this particular point is clear with you moving ahead with the next part of our code so this part is clear this part is clear a and b a or b a, a x or b that already you know and this relational operation you do you also already know 
So this part is clear. This is concatenation, left shift, right shift and rotate. Now what is the Verilog code? How to write a Verilog code for 4 bit ALU which will be performing 16 operation. So here you need to start with the module and end module. Give the name to the uh, module as a ALU and inside that you will be writing input and output ports available. As we are pro performing operations on A and B which are the operand which is of 4 bit we have written input in this bracket square bracket 3 is to 0 that is 0 1 2 3 that is 4 bit data we are having that is related to A and B. As these are of same type we have separated it by a comma that is this one. Here you can write ALU select also because this is of same type. ALU select is of same type and that's why you can write it over here. Output is what? 4 bit and the name is given as a ALU underscore out. And as you will be performing addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, there might be carry generated. So you are writing output as a carry out which is single bit. Here it is defined by vector because it is a 4 bit. This is also 4 bit and this is also 4 bit. But here carries of single bit. Once input output ports have been declared, you need to write uh, range as a ALU result because in behavioral modeling style, whatever output is there, you need to declare it as a range data type, register data type, which will be having capability to hold the data. Now here we have declared output as a ALU out. So we are not defining it, uh, defining it as a range, but we are taking one dummy variable having same functionality. Uh, it is having four bit uh, output only. So Instead of defining ALU out as a range, we have taken as a dummy variable ALU result. You can take same uh, name over here, but uh, for the purpose, some uh, different name is given. So range 3 is to 0 ALU result. Now wire. This is the wire means that is the net. That is connection between the two components. That way signal also you can say. So it is uh, of 5 bit. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bit. And it is given as a name TMP. What is the reason behind that? Because there will be one carry out and uh, it will be the fifth bit. So this is the temp of four will be your carry bit. So here the temp of fourth bit that is fourth bit of temp will be considered as a carry and it is assigned to the carry out. Over here as I told you in ALU out uh, which will be the final output and this is what is the dummy variable internally it will be processed and your data will be stored in ALU result and ultimately at last this ALU result will be assigned to ALU out. So that's why you are able to see this assignment statement. So here data flow modeling style is coming here behavioral modeling style is coming. So it is a mixed type of modeling style. So here you are able to see assign ALU out equal to ALU result. So once that has been done, this particular uh, functionality is done, operation has been done, this result will be assigned to the ALU out. Now, over here you are able to see temp we have taken that is of 5 uh, bit and last bit that is 4th bit of temp will be assigned to carry. Now how that carry is getting generated or how that 5 bit temp is getting generated if we are having operand of only 4 bit. So here you are able to see this concatenation operation has been used. I have already told you that A uh, value of operand A and operand B will be there and before that a 0 will be added. So 0 and the value will be the concatenated value. Here A value and before that 0 will be added or padded. So that is the 5 bit number. So whenever you are adding this number you will be getting uh, one fifth bit generated and that will be assigned to the carry. So this is your carry bit. Fourth bit of TMP will be carry bit. Now as we are going ahead with the behavioral modeling style you need to start with the keyword always add and here inside the bracket you will be writing sensitivity list. Meaning of sensitivity list is that that you are considering or you are writing inputs that are affecting your output. So whenever there is an event on input parameter your output is going to affect that is the meaning of this sensitivity list. If you want to write all the inputs uh, that uh, that are affecting your output. So here you can replace it by star. So this 34th line and 35th line is repeated over here. The purpose is uh, of writing this numbering is that nothing will be missed out. So you need not have to write it again. Just for the sake of uh, continuation, I have just uh, double pasted over here. Now always add sensitivity list. Begin you have done. Now you need to start with the since uh, sequential statement. And here we are using a case statement as a sequential statement. Now depending upon the value of ALU select 
that is if there is it is 0 0 0 0 or 1 1 1 1 it will be performing that operation so for that case is been has been written inside that on which uh, you are having that uh, dependency so alu underscore select that we have written now it is a 4 bit value so 4 bit so 4 tick b 0 0 0 0 colon so 4 bit binary number which is 0 0 0 0 is the meaning of this now when this is the alu select option is there you need to perform addition operation and that's why a plus b that value will be stored in alu result same way if it is if, if it is 0 0 1 subtraction will be performed and data will be stored in alu result same way for uh, 0 0 1 0 multiplication operation for 0 0 1 1 division operation over here left shift by 1 right shift by 1 here rotate left left rotate right that has been performed here for 0 oh sorry 1 0 0 0 logical and operation this is the symbol of and this is the symbol of or this is the symbol of cap that is the XOR now this is or operation but over here inside bracket we have written a or b and outside bracket we have written this approximation sign which is the sign of con uh, inversion and that's why not operation will be performed so not or means nor same way not and means nand not xor means nor xnor so that way these operations has been performed and lastly 1110 it will be performed uh, greater than uh, greater uh, a is greater than b that is the relational operation this is the symbol of ternary operator or conditional operator where you are able to see this question mark question mark over here meaning of that if this condition is true this will be executed and if it is false this particular value will be executed meaning of that if this condition is true one will be assigned to this alu result else zero will be assigned to alu result here four bit decimal number is one and meaning of this is four bit decimal number is zero now for last 1111 operation like a equal to b will be performed is this condition is true then one will be assigned to this well uh, this um, variable else zero will be assigned now whenever you are having case statement if else statement you need to write a default value because your data values in verilog are 0 1 x and don't care and here you have mentioned only 0 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 if 1 x 0 0 1 z 0 0 or something like different then this will be there what will be the output for that reason we have to show default case and here default colon that alu result will be a plus b so here you can give it a minus b a plus b or any value 1 uh, 1 1 1 1 that way 4 bit uh, ALU result is there that's why 4 bit value you can put so that is mandatory now end end case then this is the begin end of this and this is the end model so this way this is 4 bit ALU code for uh, performing 16 operation and after writing a test bench you will be able to see this type of simulation where you are able to see a is given as a 1010 that is 10 b is given as a 0010 that is 2 and if you are performing this operation that is the alu select is 0001 which is the subtraction operation so 10 minus 2 you will be getting 8 that is 1000 same way multiplication division operation you are able to see it over here so so in coming session we will be seeing how to write a test bench for this alu code written in very log so thank you everyone everyone and thank you for patience listening happy learning so we'll be going ahead with the test bench in the next session thank you